Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back! If this is the first video you clicked on, there's actually already part 2. Uh, you can click this thing to lead you to the first video, or it's in the link in the description below. And this first, the first part would show me working on the character itself, from sketch to line, and all the corrections I did to the body. Fair warning, he is naked, so it's likely not safe for work. If it will put you in a awkward situation or if you're in public, I suggest maybe you want to watch this one first. Even though the first video doesn't show any genitals or sensitive things, uh, it, it still might get awkward, you know. So I will link the video again at the end card if you want to watch it. But hey, let's get on with the video. So if you didn't watch the first video, this is Saiyan Elwin Pintet. He is my original character. He is a fire mage. And today we are working on his uniform. He works for the military, so it's a bit formal ish, not really. Uh, this is set in a fantasy world, like super high fantasy. So we are working on all three layers of his clothes. And this is the first layer, as you can see, as he is still naked right now. And this layer contains the undershirt, um, the pants, and the boots. So as you can see here in the boots section, I didn't follow the original design I had for it. This was mainly because I thought the design was a bit too much. It was too crowded, it was too um, fancy, I guess, for work shoes. So I did add trim to it, but very minimal, or not minimal, but significantly less than the original design. So the color for his undershirt is this really dark maroon. This was just so that I could break the monotony of blue, 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 and it would match with his hair. So it gives it a bit more warmish color to the piece, aside from just his hair and his skin. I also really like the blue of the boots. It's this nice uh, grayish, bluish color, and it was nicely accented by the gold trim. So something I endeavored to do with this piece was that I tried not to rely on the lines to create all the folds and highlights. So I really tried to add highlights in places that would make sense but not uh, accentuated by the line. Even though the lines do kind of disappear as I color it in as well. The pants on the other hand is this nice uh, off-white bluish grayish color. Just to give it a little bit more variety, I suppose. some clothes on so we're just gonna work on the gold trim this will appear again later in his top
Originally, I wanted to keep the gold trim outlined with gold as well, but for the boots, I decided that it added a really nice variety to it when I added it, when I colored in the lines as the same color as that of the shoes itself. And I thought it looked cool, so I kept it as that. So we are working on the second layer, which contains his top and accessories, so uh, a glove and his belt. The thing with this top is that I really like the sleeves. I based this off of one of my or several of my own polo shirts or polos. And the thing is that it has this little button on your forearm. So it if it gets too hot, you can just roll up the sleeves and you have this little strap under it and you can button it up so it becomes this little tree fort or no, not even. It becomes this little short sleeve shirt. And it's nice. And it's handy. So then the color of the top is going to be the same color as his boots, just to add some consistency and it looked nice together, I think. And to make it interesting, I made the designs white, the same color, or off-white, the same color as that of his pants. And the trim is gold, for cohesive, coherent sake. Now I wanted to talk about this glove. It kind of looks inconvenient, doesn't it? But it actually is inspired by uh, the Smudge Lord, which comes with the Wacom Cintiq. And I saw this when Draw with Jazza, which is a famous art YouTuber here. And when he unboxed the Cintiq, he also bought this thing called the Smudge Lord, which covers his pinky, his palm, until his wrist. It lessens friction, and it also guards against smudge, I guess, on the Cintiq. And when I saw it, it's like, hey, that's actually pretty cool. And if I, if I modify it to make it fantasy-like, it would make a cool glove. So that's how the story of that glove came about. Usually, I would go with like this really standard gloves or the ones where your fingers poke out and stuff. But when I saw that, it's like, eh. <laughs> it's like, oh. The green on the belt is just to give it a bit more variety to it. Make it interesting a bit. So now we are going to work on his cape. And for this character, he really loves his cape. It's not this typical dark black or dark blue cape. It's a nice cream color. And it's really sweet to look at. Even though this character isn't exactly sweet, but whatever. But yes, for this character, his favorite article of clothing is actually his cape. So I guess you can see by now how the process of my commission or outfit designing 
looks like. Basically, it's uh, several pieces of articles of clothing on different layers. And I'm speeding this up a bit because it's super boring since I have to outline the entire body since the cape covers so much space. <music> Why didn't you just draw it under the character, you ask? Because it had parts that goes over the character and I didn't want to make several differing layers for it. So I do this to myself instead. Usually, when somebody commissions me for a character design, if there are several layers to the clothing, it corresponds to several folders or several sets on the PDF PSD file. Like this. So this is the third layer now. It typically takes me one to two days depending on how complicated or how much or how solid the design is in my head already. Like for Seiyan, what took me forever to do was actually the base body. You'll see in the first video why. This one took me uh, four hours. It took me four hours. That's because there's a lot of stuff to do and stuff like that. So you can see it's a nice simple cream cloak just to make the entire outfit a bit warmer. We're going over the second coat of shadows just to give it a little bit more dimension to it. So yes, and highlights. And we're gonna add this nice blue touch just to make it fully integrated with the rest of the outfit. So, we are nearing the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed. I understand that this was a bit long. It was super long, even for me. It took me three days to finish the entire thing. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys again soon. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Please follow me on Tumblr, DeviantArt, Instagram. Okay, see you around.